One and two, Dream Team, it's your wifey Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Only Fools and Horses, Season 5, Episode 9, Dates, Part 3. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so I can suggest it. Oh, you got it. Oh, <laughs> you want to cross your fingers he doesn't fancy a Buck's fist, but... <laughs> What happened down at Boyce's Masonic Lodge last night, then? Eh? Oh, yeah. Well, I had to go down and meet the committee members, you know, and try and make a good impression, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So, are you a Mason, then? No, 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 not yet. The committee are discussing me this evening. Yeah, but as Boyce said, there's always a chance that I could be blackballed. Is that part of the initiation ceremony? <laughs> you see, each committee member has one white ball and one black ball. And the boat, they have to put one of their balls in the bank. Snooker balls. Yes. Yeah, well, and when I empty the bag, if all the balls are white, well, that's it. That's all right. That means you're in. If there's one black ball, just one, that's it. Hey. Hey. Are you doing all this for Raquel? Mm. Yeah. No, yeah. She's worth it, Robin. Oh, can't wait to meet her. Is she coming down here tonight? No, no, she can't. She's rehearsing. Yeah? Mm. What in? No rehearsal with them, I suppose. What <laughs> play? Oh, I don't know, something, you know, deep and meaningful. One of them Russian jobs, probably. Well, the ones we don't watch on BBC too. Check off, that sort of stuff. No, no. Those are the ones I never used to watch, but in them days, you see, I wasn't esoteric. No? No, but, you know, Raquel's taught me what's what. Oh, yeah. I mean, you stick me in front of the telly with a Singapore sling and ham sandwich and a bit of Chekhov, and I'm as happy as a sandboy. <laughs> well, she's, she's good news for her, she really is. You know, she's lovely, she's beautiful, she's talented. She's got a good pair of lungs on her and all. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, she's got a yeah. good singing voice. <laughs> well, she's got this voice, it's a, a cross between that Kiri Tikwanama Lovely. Oh, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. It's Boise. Boise! Boise, over here! Over here! Sit yourself down, Boise. Have the committee come to a decision yet? Yes, Derek, and it is bad news. Well, it's bad news for you, at least. You were blackballed. Hey. Oh, no. Someone put a black ball in the bag. Ooh. When I emptied the bag, there was more than one black ball. Well, let's put it this way. Have you ever seen the bottom of a rabbit's hutch? I did my best. What am I going to tell Raquel now? Oh, look, if she's as talented as you say she is, she don't need you bribing some television director. A talent will win through. There you go. No, you're right, Rodney. No, you know, you're right. Yeah. No, she's going to be a star one day because she has got talent. All together now. She's more than you can say for that soppy old kid. Oh, I put me finger in the wolf pack as I hold on the wolf pack. Go, this go, go, take it out. Take it out. Wiggle it about me, Murphy. That was enough. Del, can't you chuck him in the back of the van and drive him home? Well, with that engine, you must be joking. It needed a walking frame to get down here tonight. Well, it was going all right the other day. Yeah, when was that? I saw Dave driving it. Some of his mates were following him. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, but the engine was well lumpy then, Del. Yeah, but it was going a fair old leg, though, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but it was making a terrible noise. Yeah, hang on. What's this one? Now, all together now. Oh, oh I'm... Trotter. Able seaman Albert Trotter, late of Her Majesty's ship Peerless. I sir. I'm placing you under arrest. You're only nicking him, look! What's going on? You'll be taken to the naval stockade Portsmouth, where you will await court martial. But why? Dereliction of duty. November 19th, 1941, while serving with the Royal Pacific Fleet, you did wantonly abandon your watch duties, thus causing the sinking 
of HMS Peerless and causing considerable damage to the American vessel USS Pittsburgh. But that was nearly 50 years ago. The original papers have only been discovered in the vaults of Admiralty Headquarters, Singapore. I couldn't understand the radar. It was all blibs and blobs. Are you the charges, Penny Officer? Aye, aye, sir. Able Seaman Albert Trotter, you are hereby ordered by Her Majesty the Queen, by the High Lords of the Admiralty, and by all your friends and relatives to have a very happy birthday! <laughs> bro, bro, they scared the mess out of me, bro. I thought Uncle Albert was still for I thought Uncle Albert was a goner. I thought he was going to jail. You know, I, I was like, that was 50 years ago. I was thinking that too. Like, why would you get him now? It was so long ago at this point. You just let him live his life. You live and let live. Oh, uh, they scared me, Uncle Al. They scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared to death. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you see Rachel's face. Ah. Oh my God. But I can't be mad at Rachel because Del Boy's been lying to her the whole time too. So they just both sitting there lying to each other. <laughs> this is perfection. It is perfection. <laughs> Is this the actress you've been telling us so much about? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, <your> Raquel? <laughs> Oddly enough, I am not all right. Look, Del, don't get out of your pram over it. Don't get out of my pram. <laughs> don't get out of my pram. She just humiliated me in front of my friends. But you booked her. I did not book her. <laughs> <laughs> Strip her out. 
but you booked her. <laughs> Grand, I did not know it was her because I did not know that she did that for a living. I thought she was an actress because that is what she said she was. Instead, she goes round pubs dressed in stockings and suspender belts, flashing her frothy bits of blokes. I shouldn't worry about it, Del. I don't think very many people noticed. <laughs> anyway, what about a few years ago when you used to go out with that bird, Monique? Now, she used to go around in public wearing next to nothing on. She was a lifeguard. <laughs> well, yeah, all right. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't talk to him yet, love. Just leave him. He'll calm down in a year or two. You lied to me! No, I didn't! I never told you I wasn't a stripper! And anyway, that's the pot calling the kettle black. I've just found out your name is Trotter. You told me you were called Derek Duval. <laughs> Calling the kettle back. <laughs> That's facts. That is exactly what it is. Say, so you lied to me. No, I didn't. I just never told you that I wasn't a stripper. <laughs> or that I was a stripper. <laughs> I love this. And you didn't tell me you were a market trader. And I suppose this is the Ferrari. <laughs> So I might occasionally tell the old porky or two. But I'll tell you something I don't do. I don't go round pubs dressed in stockings and suspenders, flashing my boobs at geezers, do I, Rodney? No, he's never done anything. Like that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Del, please listen to me. I just do this a couple of evenings a week to pay for my drama lessons. I mean, where do you think I found the money to live on? Oh, I don't know. I thought you was living on the old rock and roll or something. No, I'm not on the dole. I pay for my own way in this world. I'm sorry you don't like what I do for a living. This may come as a surprise to you, but I don't bloody like it either. Anyway, you said you wanted me to meet your family. Yes, but I meant with your bloody clothes on. I've got blackball for you. I'm sorry. But before you start moralising too much, just remember one thing. You booked me for this evening. I didn't know it would be you. Oh, so it'd be all right for you and your mates to leer and lust over a stranger. Yes. <laughs> he said yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Look, this is probably a daft question, but do you want to see me anymore? Come on, Dale, boy. Come on, Dale. Yes, of course I want to see you again, sweetheart. Yes! But next time I'll pay at the door like all the other punters. Say that to her, Dill. At all. At all. No, it wasn't. No, I wish I hadn't. Like most things in my life, it's too bloody late. True then. It's what true. All these rumours I've been hearing about you falling in love with some stripper. Oh, leave it out, Sid. I was in love with her. I was just, you know, knocking about with her, you know what I mean? That's what I thought. I told them. 
That old boy wouldn't get serious over some tart. No, of course, not a thing I am. Some sort of wally. Cup of tea, please, Sid. All right. Oh, what's up with you now? Is it the 175 quid repair bill for the van? <laughs> Is it her? Her? Raquel. I've never known anyone called Raquel. Ah, oh, right. Oi, you coming down to Coach and Horses tonight? They got a strip. <laughs> Comedian, not that. No, I don't mean so, I mean, I'll stay in and watch it better tell you that. It's one of them Chekhov plays on BBC Two. They're about cobblers. <coughs> Raquel, what a lovely surprise. Look who's here, Dale. You got time for a cup of tea? I don't know. Have I got time for a cup of tea? Come on, dear boy. Well, it's a free country. There you are. See, I told you we'd mellow after a bit. <laughs> well, I've got to go somewhere to... Well, I've got to go somewhere. Yeah, my tea. Damn yeah, boy, come on. You don't, you, don't get, you don't usually get too many second chances in life, Dale. She's good for you, Dale. You get, I didn't want to say it, my guy. I didn't want to have to... But you're getting older. You're getting older, Dale, boy. It's about time for you to settle down. It's about time for you to find a good woman. My kid's a good woman. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't like what she does. But she got to do it to pay her bills. So you can slide in there, help take care of her. So she ain't got to do that no more. She can focus on the acting, Dale, boy. Damn. Blinding you. Rotten. It's a tough old world, isn't it? Tougher than I ever imagined. I've, um, I've resigned from the stripogram agency. Oh, good. I've signed on the doll. It's a step up the ladder, isn't it? Why didn't you tell me what you did for a living? Why did you let me find out like that? I don't think I wanted you to find out in that way, do you? Look, that night, I took a job to give birthday greetings to someone called Albert Trotter. It had been paid for by someone called Derek Trotter. Now, if I'd known your real name, I would have realised it was you and not taken the job. You still didn't tell me what you did for a living. Well, I was hoping there'd be no need to. After I met you and I realised we were... Come on, dear boy. Coming closer. I'd planned to pack the whole strip of ground business in, then you'd have been none the wiser. It just didn't work out that way. Knew you. Knew nothing. Your disguises and secrets. Sorry. I'm going on a tour. Yeah? But it's a mystery one. No, it's my mystery. An agent called me a couple of days ago. Could be helpful to my career. Gushti. Mm. You won't have to worry about bumping into me. It's a tour of the Middle East. The Middle East? I didn't know they went in for all that Uncle Vanya and rum for your wife stuff. No, it's not a play. It's a review. Dancing, that sort of thing. Oh, use your noddle, Raquel. You read about that sort of thing in the Sunday papers. You'll end up as a hostess in some topless dive in the Casbah. No, it's an official tour, all above board. Probably get kidnapped and then end up in a Harlem. It's not what I want. It's the next best thing. It's a shame the two of us couldn't have been more honest with each other. Look, I was straight with you. Oh, all right, all right. So I called myself Duval. Well, what's wrong with that? That's nothing, is it? I mean, it's just a joke. I didn't tell you any other lies. 
Help? We'll see what. Maybe it's another call from your New York office. I've ever met who wanted me to keep my clothes on. For getting yourself blackballed for me. For giving me back some self esteem. I used to wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and think only oh, you again. But after I met you, I used to wake up and think, great, another day. You're going to be somebody. This time next year, I'll be famous. Raquel, do you like a piece of my fried bread? <laughs> Where are you leaving? Tomorrow afternoon. I've got a cab coming at 12. It's taking me to Waterloo Station. It's ironic, isn't it? It doesn't have to be the end. We could still go on seeing each other. Yeah, I'll well, pop over to Addis Ababa and catch the show. I mean, I don't have to go. You said you'd already agreed to it. If I'm not there, I'm not there. They'll have to find a replacement. Shouldn't be that difficult. Thousands of girls are begging for a chance like this. done all my thinking and I know what I want. If you want me to stay, then I will. And I'm not talking about any heavy commitment like marriage or even living together. We could just be there for each other. Come on, Gail. Think about it, won't you? Yeah, of course I will. I swear, Deb, you don't show up at Waterloo Station before she gets on that freaking train. We're going to have a problem. If you like the idea, just be at my flat tomorrow. If not, I'll understand. Yeah, I just need a bit of time, that's all. Okay. Thanks for the fried bread. I'll see you. Maybe. be honest, Rodney. It was funny at the time, mate. Yeah, well, Dell didn't seem to think so. No, well, he wouldn't, would he? <laughs> <laughs> Dell's been taking it all very well, as it happens. Yeah, well, we'll have to take your word for that, Rodney, because he ain't been in here since. Yeah, we had a bit of thinking to do last night. He's got a sort of decision to make. What's that? Well, it's just paid the bill for the stripper gram agency. <laughs> <laughs> They're so dirty, but that's how the boys are. They're dirty, but that's exactly how the boys are. That, that's just, that's how. They're... <laughs> and they'll say it to his face. They wouldn't just go by on his back and say, "Dale walked in." They'll say it to his face. They're clever. But that's what you can expect from the boys. That, that's what you can expect from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 
thing was here to it. Morning all. Same again for Rodney. Singapore sling for me. It's more rum for Elton John over there. <laughs> Better take one for yourself, Michael. Cheers, Del. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Well, I've been thinking about her all night last night, Rodney. She's had a tough old life, you know. Her old man was a right rough house. All the other blokes that she's known before that were no better. And, you know, she's had nothing but bad luck. Then she met me. <laughs> Bloody hell, life's a bitch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, you know, I've always been bad luck to win. No, you ain't. No, I have, I have. Thanks, cheers. I was thinking back last night to all the birds that I've known, you know. Yeah. I brought them all nothing but bad luck. I'm a bit like that little Joe. <laughs> little Joe? Yeah, you know, in Bonanza, little Joe. You ain't, Del. You're nothing like him. <laughs> no, not in looks. I mean, he's an ugly-looking git. <laughs> no, but, I mean, you know, whenever you watch an episode of Bonanza, you know, and that little Joe falls in love with a woman, you know she is gonna die. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he starts stronging it with assault, you can guarantee that she's either gonna catch the fever, get trampled underfoot in a stampede, or the Indians are gonna have her. <laughs> It's not going to happen to Raquel. <laughs> no, no, it won't. No, I thought about it last night. I thought, I thought to myself, whatever happens, Raquel is not going to end up full of arras. <laughs> so what I do, I came round here, I thought, I'd give myself a couple of quick liveners and then I'm going to go round to her flat. Yeah, well done, Del. You stuck what the others think, eh? Yeah, that's right, bro, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Rodney. You stuck by me. You are a diamond. Oh, get off, Will. No, no, you are. No, I'll never forget that. You did laugh at the time, though. Yeah, didn't what you? didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you did laugh at the time, though. So this is all serious stuff, then? Hmm? Well, no, no. I mean, you know, no. I'm talking about marriage and nothing like that. Not even talking about living together. It's just a. You know, well, just. Just gonna be there for each other. Cheers. Cheers, Rodney. All the best of you. Cheers. Let's go, Del Boy. Please make it on time. Please make it on time, Del. You can imagine how I felt, can't you? I felt like a right dipstick. <laughs> Listen, Del, I know we all had a laugh at you, but no offence to that. And that's all right, Martin, I'll take it. It's all forgotten about now, all right? <laughs> I thought Albert took it well. Although he didn't threaten to get even with you. Oh, yeah, well, Del ain't eating a thing Albert's cooked ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Albert. Take that rum over for him, will you, Rodney? Yeah. Mmm. What's the time? Oh, look at the time. I'm supposed to be around Raquel's by noon. Yeah, give her my love, won't you, Del? Then tell her to pop in for a drink one night, eh? Yeah, I will, right? Cheers. 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 There you go, Albert. So, as he reached the decision. Yeah. He's going round to her flat in a minute. Oh, God. She wouldn't have been happy chewing round the Middle East. I never liked it over there. Did I want to tell you about that time I was in Cairo? Yes, you must go there, Albert. You must go. No! Oh, God. <laughs> What's up, Rodney? I've got to go, right? I've got to go. Lum, you want to clean your pipes out a bit, Mike? <laughs> Go right through him, man. Anyway, listen, I must be off. I'll see you. Cheers, Del. Ta-ta. Is your name Trotter? <laughs> yes, that's my name. That's me, yes. Is that your yellow van out there? What, the one with a Trotter written on the side? <laughs> yes, that's mine. Well, a couple of weeks ago, a yellow three-wheel van, very similar to yours, shot the lights between Lewisham Hill and Woodford Lane. We're in the process of questioning the owners of all such vehicles. Oh, well, look no further, officers. It was me. It's a fair cop. I've done it. <laughs> you disappoint me, uncle. 
Mr. Trotter. Yes. Either you are not taking this very seriously, or you don't understand the full implications of your last statement. Look, come on, darling. Look, I'm a bit pushed for time, so, you know, can we get on with it? He's not going to freaking make it to Raquel L. 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 F. L. 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 Well, you know what I mean. Come on, hurry up. Come on, get him off. Come on. <laughs> I would have thought you would have come up with something a bit more original than that. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with me, son. It, it wasn't anything to do with you. If, what? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Nick him! <laughs> like to get you on a slow boat to China. Or to myself. No, no, please, please, I've got to meet someone at noon. You please. are going to meet someone at noon. Oh, I guess so. A very nice man, and I'm sure you two will get on like a house on fire. Can you take me round to Harrington Road? I've got to meet someone. He's uh, left here. Yeah. yeah. If you could just go... If you... Oh, thanks very much, pal. Melting your heart of stone I'd like to get you on a slow... I know you don't believe me, but can I at least use your phone? Do that have one phone call? Thanks. What's the time? Oh, 20 to 1. Oh, terrific. You don't know the code for Addis Ababa, do you? F me, man. Oh, that's so freaking frustrating. You got some options. I was supposed to go down like that. That's all we got. You guys got a better video suggestion. You just got a Patreon account in the comment section. It's your boy, D. Neil. Out.